What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I want to teach you how to multiply different bases that have different exponents but in this problem it's going to be a little different because we're not going to have like a super clean answer okay and that's specifically because we have a negative exponent and a positive exponent here all right so a little bit different right now with any problem that has different bases and different exponents you either want to find a way to get the same bases or similar or same exponents okay in this case we can't match up the bases because three over here is prime all right so there's no way to change four to kind of match it up with three. But one thing we can do here is first simplify this negative exponent. So three raised to the negative two, that's the same thing as one over three raised to the positive two, okay? So here you can see we now have a positive two uh, for our exponent. Now four to the six, there's a couple ways we can break this down. Uh, so this six specifically is what we can break down. So four to the six, we can rewrite that as either four uh, squared and then that whole thing cubed or we can flip these exponents we can put the three on the inside and the two on the outside right we could also write it as four cubed like that squared okay why can I rewrite four to the sixth like this it, or both of these well because whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent or a power raised to a power in order to simplify these all you have to do is multiply them all right so what's two times three well that's equal to six all right so that's why this is equal to four to the six same thing over here what's three times two well this is still equal to six right so this is still equal to four to the six okay so we can rewrite four to the six as either one of these now which one do you want to use in this case well in this case we would want to use this one right because we have this exponent the two out here right same thing over here we have a two out there so we're going to change this four to the sixth to this right here so we're going to multiply instead by uh let's move this up a little bit four cubed and then with the squared exponent on the outside right because we have a square exponent out here also Okay, now, uh, what is four cubed? So four cubed is equal to 64. Okay, so here, let's rewrite this. We have one over three squared times 64, right? Times uh, 64 squared. Okay, so now all we're left with is one over three squared times 64 squared, right? So to multiply these together, you just multiply straight across, right? So on top, we have one times 64 squared, which is just equal to uh, 64 squared okay and then on the bottom uh, we don't have a denominator over here so here we have a 3 squared that's all we have so we put a 3 squared right there okay so as you can see we have the same exponent right we have a 2 there and a 2 there okay so one way we can combine these now is we can combine 64 over 3 into a fraction and then just raise this whole thing to the second power okay since they both have this squared exponent right there so uh, this is going to be the same thing as 64 over 3 and then just raising this whole thing to the second power, okay? Now, 64 over 3, that's not a very clean answer. Uh, if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get that 64 divided by 3 is equal to 21.3333333 forever, okay? So we can just write that as 21.3 repeating, okay? And then we still have our exponent right here, this 2. So we'll still leave that right there, all right? So then our answer right here is 21.3 repeating squared, all right? And it, you could simplify this a little bit more. If you plug this into a calculator, you're gonna get uh, 455.1 repeating, okay? Or another way of saying this, right? So 0.1111111, that's the same thing as one ninth. So we could just say 455 and one ninth, all right? Not the prettiest answer, but there it is, boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.